told me this story over the phone when we were writing the, the story for the website, I couldn't start laughing. I couldn't stop laughing when we talked about the end part where he told you to repeat the number. So, all right. So here we go. Basketball Hall of Famer, Dr. J, Julius Irving. There is a golf tournament that you both attended and there was a limo ride that happened where both of you had to share a limo back to the airport. This story we talked about lightly on beyondthelegacy.com uh, when we did your written story, but please share with the world this story. This is one of my favorite stories that you shared with me. Right, that, you know, you grew up on the playgrounds, wanted to be Julius Irving, and in uh, middle school, you started to jump a little higher and higher, learning how to dunk a basket. Uh, high school, you want to be Dr. J, dunking the ball. So, you know, I, I, uh, I've always, uh, I've been, I would have to say the majority of guys I played with was love Julius. Julius Irvin wanted to be the doctor. Sure. Um, um, yeah, I play in the um, a celebrity golf tournament every year in California. It's in California, the uh, uh, NBA Hall of Fame golf tournament. And I've had a chance to run into Julius. You know, I actually met Julius once when I was a college senior. Um, I was being recruited. Um, so an agent took me downtown and did meet the meet the seventy uh, sixers. So I met Moses Malone, who didn't say very much, and Julius or Mo Cheeks, um, and Andrew Tony in the lobby. So he was trying to sell me on the uh, sixers. I've already sold on the sixers. <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, so we play a golf tournament. I get a chance to sit with him at the table a couple of times. Don't say everything. Much just observing Julius, you know, say hi, Dale. He knows who I am, mm -hmm. Julius, and keep moving, you know. So after the tournament, we're headed back. I'm going to back to Atlanta. He was going to um, to Las Vegas to visit with his family, meet his family. So we're leaving early, and uh, so I'm packed and ready for the limo to take us uh, van or truck takes to the airport, uh, take me to the airport, and. Uh, I hear two people talking once is, uh, well, uh, we're waiting on Julius. I said, we're waiting on Julius? I said, no, Julius can take that other car. With you. Said, <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to avoid being in the same car, same no. presence of, of your hero. Yeah, I knew I was going to be in it. It's an hour drive. It's an hour drive, so I'm going to have to say something to Julius, and I don't know what to say to Julius. <laughs> so, I said, no, he's got to ride with you. He's going to ride with you. So once I understood that it wasn't happening, he wasn't going to ride in that second vehicle. So I said, well, you, let Julius sit up front. You know, so he needs the leg room. I was going to sit in the back so he can't turn around and talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> you got this all figured out in, in your mind. Yeah. You've been thinking 10 steps ahead in terms yeah. of what's about to happen. Right. Now, he was a hero of mine. So it, it was awkward. It was awkward. Being in his presence, I knew I was going to be up a close person with him for an hour. But he sat in the back and we started talking. And it was him asking questions. He initiated the conversation. But the conversation went pretty good. It was nerve wracking in the beginning, but, you know, just try not to say too much, Dale. Just, just talk. <laughs> talk when spoken to, you know. <laughs> so, but uh, it was good at the end. And he asked me if I did I have his number. And I said, Oh, he threw me off to the full loop. And so he gave me the number. He was he signed the number to me. He said, read that back to me. And I read it back, but I had the number wrong. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> 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 That's how nervous I was being in his, uh, his presence. You, know? uh, the, you took the number down wrong. And he, yeah. he, he told you to repeat it to him, obviously. Right. And you're off by a couple digits, maybe. Um, uh, mm. Yeah. Uh. That's a classic. Wow. Mm -hmm. Love that story. That That's one of my favorites that we shared over the phone. Yeah.